Jara from New Frequency Healing. I have a client on my table here and wanted to show you a little demonstration of what it looks like when, when I do the healing that I offer. I offer it in person and by distance. When it's in person, I might see some of what we call registers, so movements in the body. It is different for everyone. Some people have larger movements, some smaller, and we can't guarantee what will happen with the actual person, but the healings happen. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. So if I'm doing a reconnective healing, this is what it might look like. There's no actual technique. I'm noticing and observing. Now, if you get a little bit closer, you might see that her eyes are moving in a kind of a rapid eye movement. And that's one of the registers I'm looking for. And I can actually see a different breathing pattern here where she happens to be wearing a little necklace. And I can see the, the breathing is like a staccato type breathing on the neck there. So they're a bit different to what was there a moment ago. That's what I'm looking for. And I'm noticing and feeling. One of the interesting things is it gets stronger with distance. So I'll even move away. And very often it's, it continues and even gets stronger. And distance healing like a lot of my clients are on the other side of the world and it's amazing to see that they still have incredible healing or if they're in person with me, healing as well. I did notice a calming, a calming effect as you started, and as you did move away, I did notice an amplification of the energy, uh -huh. which I know we've done distance healings together before, and that definitely the energy is really high when we do cool. this. You do the distance healing, uh -huh. on, so thank yeah, it felt great. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Okay, we're just gonna swap. Gonna keep filming and just swap over if you'd like to uh, take the camera and we'll get another person, another client on the table. <laughs> And again, every person is different and every healing session is different. So it might be the same, it might be the different different each time. I'm just gonna... <clears throat> so I notice straight away, I don't, you won't be able to see it there, he's got a collar on. I can see, I'm just, oh, no, I don't wanna touch anything. I can see a movement in the throat there. So I don't ever touch people, but I can see that movement happening. I can also see a different breathing ha happening here on the stomach already. It's like a lot stronger than it was just as we started. So, I just notice. I can see his eyes moving. Now his eyes are moving in a very, very fine and fast way. So it's, it's a little bit different than the first client. And what I like to do is just to play with it, to give it a bit of distance and see what happens. So I observe. So that fast movement, I think, has changed to something different now. His eyes are kind of opening up a little bit. That staccato movement is still there on the stomach. It's going up and down, but it's kind of like a vibration. So what I'm doing is just tuning into the new frequencies. A healing session, if you come in person, might look like this. It's hands-free. And there are a lot of differences between reconnective healing and energy healing. So sometimes I work with healers who are energy healers and I notice they tend to be a lot closer 
and they're kind of like channeling through them to the person and that's fine we've had that type of healing for thousands of years however with this <clears throat> one of the differences is that I receive it's not going through me to the person I simply receive and when I um, finished the session I feel really energized as well as opposed to perhaps having my energy you know going out or getting involved in looking at what the person's diagnosis is we don't diagnose anything I just allow the person to connect directly and they have their healing okay would you like we're done would you like to sit up and so what was your experience? Well, I saw a lot of um, visions of a situation in the past. Mm -hmm. And um, I realized that I just needed to release that situation and that there was total freedom in, in my life existence at this stage. Well, that was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> and it moved in really quickly as I laid down. Yeah, my, okay. You know, aware of it yeah what I find this is amazing that the healings can just be like that and and then physical ailments can change as well I mean it might be emotional it might be spiritual it might be mental but also physical is I feel the last result of where there's stress and stress and pressure and it can be just like that in an instant it's dissolved you step out and your life is a little bit different and much better <laughs> Thank you so much for your assistance and I'll see you all soon. My website is juliajara.com where I have, I have all the information of distance and in-person healings, usually in Sydney, Australia. And I'll hope to see you soon. Thank you.